Wagner has 20 years experience within clay. But what about the other members that make up the 47 member force? One of the requirements that we had within our job description is that anyone that we hired had to have a minimum of uh, two years of experience. While two years was the requirement, Clay Superintendent Addison Davis says the least experienced officer has 12 years in law enforcement, the most 30. We are glad to say that we have a number of individuals that have already been in education, whether it's in K-12 education or post-secondary education, and truly understand what is needed in order to protect our children. Despite prior experience and required certification through the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Davis adds the 47 members have been going through training since June, including work with the FBI. It's field training, psychological assessments, uh, de-escalation training, trauma-informed care training, active shooter training. It's the exact same training neighboring police forces like the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office goes through. Clay School District even hired former FBI agents to work on background checks to make sure they weren't hiring just any average Andy with police experience. Please know, parents, if you're watching, that uh, we have done our homework to make certain that we have trained and hired skillful individuals that really uh, have the hearts and the abilities to protect our kids every single day. And back out here live, Davis says most importantly, this allows Clay County to have a resource officer in every school throughout the district, something they have not had, and estimates this will save the county about $1.2 million annually in the first year and then there the years after. In Clay County tonight, Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.